Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Although you see some other web page here, this video is about installing Steam on a Raspberry Pi 5 with Ubuntu. Now you might wonder why am I showing a web page about Fedora? Well, with Fedora 42, they uh, enabled in their repositories to install software to run x86 aka Intel AMD programs on ARM systems and their default option is fax I tried it on my Libre computer Alta um, but I wasn't able to get Steam running and well, that's when I decided, let's try this on a Raspberry Pi 5. Now, I've heard about Box86 and Box64 for quite some time. And up till now, I was just too lazy to really try to figure out to get it installed. And I think that... One of the things uh, that the developer of Box64 is doing is he created a new project, Box32. And with Box32, it's possible to execute both 64-bit and 32-bit with Box64. So previously, you had to install both Box64 and Box86. Now, Box32 is, uh, let's just say, a new side project. So it doesn't have the same compatibility at the moment. So it's April 2025 now as Box86. But yeah, I assume that uh, at some point in time, uh, Box32 will be on the same level as Box86. But for the time being, uh, if you really want to have the best compatibility with Box64, then it's better to install Box86. But again, I'm too lazy to do that. So anyone that is interested to do uh, to install Box86, uh, I will also leave a link in the description of the video where they will explain the whole procedure to install both Box64 and Box86 to run Steam. And for the people that are running on Raspberry Pi OS, um, you can also install it with uh, Pi apps. So I'm not really sure if it just installs Steam and that it will automatically install Box86 and Box64, but I guess uh, yeah, installing Box86 and Box64 is not that complicated, but it's just uh, a lot of steps. Now, coming back to Box64. Um, yeah, perhaps it is possible to install it from the repository. But I think at the moment it's better to compile it from source uh, because that way you control uh, compiling it with Box32 included. So these are the instructions to get the code. You need to make a build directory, go inside the build directory and then there is this CMake command. Now I'm on a Raspberry Pi 5. I can show you that. Ubuntu with the Raspberry Pi kernel. So with this switch, you can build it for the Raspberry Pi 5. 
and that means that your CMake command should look similar to this. So this is just just one line. And in this case, I also activated box 32 and that it should also activate box 32 with bin format. So once you've executed that CMake command, you can make it. So this four stands for four CPU cores. Uh, if you have um, yeah, not so much memory. So I think four gigabytes is enough to let it run with four cores. Uh, but yeah, if you only have four gigabytes, then stay on four or perhaps even lower. And if you have less than four gigabytes, well, you also might wonder if it's a good idea to try this because emulation needs relatively uh, a lot of memory. So, and then once you have uh, made the Box64 app, you can install it. And as it says, the first time you install it, you should also uh, do this command because that way when you execute a x86 or x86 64-bit executable, then you don't need to specify that you want to start with box 64. It will uh, figure it out automatically. And installing Steam, well, if you downloaded the code for Box64, then there is a script install Steam. So you can uh, run it as a program or if you're in a terminal, can do it like this. So I already installed Steam. So I don't execute the script. Okay. Um, so let's just start Steam. So you also see some references to Box32 because the Steam client, it's a mix of 32-bit code and 64-bit code. And yeah, you do see some errors, but well, at least I was able to get it started. And the first time you start the Steam client, then it will also do an update. So like I said, uh, Box32 is uh, not on the same level as Box86, but it's good enough to start a Steam client. And yeah, at the moment of this video, April 2025, Box32 is not good enough to uh, run 32-bit games. So for instance, uh, let's just say Half-Life. So here you see some uh, fatal error coming from Box32. So, yeah, 
I think with box 86 it should be possible to run Half-Life. So anyway, uh, when you install the games with Steam, uh, you can let it create a shortcut. So let's just try Cryptarch. It's not going to be a very smooth experience, but uh, it starts. And here you can see that it's using Box64, so it's a 64-bit game. So I activated the frame counter in the top left corner. Attention all crew, we've made contact with the outskirts of the target flotilla. Make ready to commence pioneer operations immediately. Our contractors have hired us to locate and secure a flagship class derelict they're calling the Cryptarch. There's some piece of premium Xenotech on board they want to get their hands on, and we're the ones who landed the job. To find the Cryptarch's position within the fleet, and how to open it up, we'll have to shake down a number of these subjacent vessels for intel. Unfortunately, it won't be easy. These ghost ships have some onboard security built to last, so we'll have to blast our way in. This straggler will be a good target to stretch our legs and test the temperature of the water. So let's enter. So I'm getting like four frames per second. That's not really much. So, I guess uh, you get the idea. So, yeah, I'm not much of a gamer and uh, I think the last 12 months the only games I've played is let's just say just to test emulation so I haven't really finished the game in the last 12 months so for me it's okay to wait until box 32 improves um, but again uh, if you want to play also the older 32-bit games then it's better just to install uh, Steam on a Raspberry Pi with Box 86 and also Box 64. Uh, one of the advantages of having Box 64 installed is that you can also run other 64 bit x86 games or applications. So in this case, Stunt Car Remake. I downloaded the app image. And 
I set it to be executable. And here we have Stunt Car Remake. So let's see if I can win this game. Shouldn't take too long. So I think this is the last lap. So I will also have a look at getting Steam running on my Libre computer Alta. And also on one of my Rockchip RK3588 single board computers. And I won the race. Oops. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I think um, nowadays it's really not that hard to install something like Fax or Box64 with Box86 to play some x86 games. And um, yeah, I hope uh, you will have fun with it. And like I said, I'm going to try to get Steam installed on my other single board computers. So this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.